Aw oh, man, I thought we were actually gonna play a Sandy. What's happening here? Karate special, okay. Touch and change to strike mode or guard mode. Okay, it doesn't really tell us the details of how this works. So we can strike or guard. Okay, so this plays mostly normally. Sounds like. It feels like it plays mostly normally. Because that just heals you, it doesn't actually make you stronger. Okay, so it's a slightly different version. And our attacks are slowly modified, so you don't have that karate attack anymore. This is strange. Why do I have a slightly modified Sandy to play as? It's not like a mini game, it's basically just a slight variation of the actual gameplay. Oh, am I, am I on, oh, I was actually on the guard. Okay, so you do actually have a... So now instead of a charge attack, I have an uppercut. So I have a faster attack now. So I probably take more damage now or something. Interesting. So you have two different movesets for Sandy for some reason. So what's that line on the bottom though? So it just heals you. So I'm not quite sure what that line, that purple gauge is in the bottom on the top screen. I'm trying to figure out what that is. I don't, it seems to be feeling very, very slowly, but I can't tell what specifically makes it fill. That's an interesting looking attack. Seems like it's just big, yeah, slowly filling as I attack enemies in general. So I guess I'll just keep attacking things and we how that happens. See how that happens. But it's a weird half-baked idea here, what's happening. <laughs> Strange. I think the licensed game status of this game is starting to show with these mini-games that don't really need to be there. I think it would be better if it was just the platforming sections and whatnot and some bosses or something. So I don't mind those parts. Earlier on. Okay, so now I actually have combos. See if we can get a bunch of enemies at once, and then... That wasn't all that fun. Okay, so we have a special attack you can do if you... fill up your gauge, and then... It doesn't really seem to do much. I mean, part of it is I guess I kind of wasted it, but at the same time, like, I took over half the level to actually... get, get it to charge anyways. So you would think it would be pretty good. It's just holding your directions and mashing the attack button. I find it, I find it interesting though how they actually add stats to the bottom screen. The different modes. For different stances or formations, or you want to call them. There's not reason, really a reason to switch between the two though. Like, it's not like one. Like, you don't have different enemies, so it's not like one type is better against one enemy and another type is better against the other. Or anything like that. And it is useful for healing. Very, very, very good at healing. Man. It's ridiculous what a good healing move can do for you. As we have Sonic Battle. One of the characters, I don't remember who. Oh, I think it was, the, um, not Gamma, but the thing that was based off of Gamma. Chaos Gamma. Had a recovery mode, I think it was called. Had a ridiculously fast healing move. It was pretty much at the same speed as this. I didn't expect this game to remind you of Sonic Battle. So, how, how many other games have I been reminded of by these MS nice Group Pandas games so far? So, I've had some platformers and all that. Which does not remind you of anything in particular. But on top of that, we've also had. We had Metroid Prime or some Metroid game. Some first person Metroid game. We had. And these guys did hard sometimes. We've had. I'm try to fish off the last one with. Actually, start now. See, like, you don't really combo the enemies very well, so it's hard to hit them with that actual attack, because you hit them with some of the attacks, but then it stops hitting them, and you keep doing that animation. But, so there was Metroid, then there was Panzer Dragoon, now it's vaguely Sonic Battle, not really so much because the gameplay is actually similar, but because something vaguely reminded me of it. 
Interesting. It's up to the left here. Oh, okay. Why can't I leave? Like, there's no- the door's open. Light up to stay and fight. Oh, good job, SpongeBob. Okay. I'm trying to switch to Patrick so hard. Uh, wait, didn't we say that- But Sandy said, leave the fighting these guys thing to me. And then we didn't. Why is that the case? Also, these guys seem to be just shooting like pearls or something. I found the ice cream weaponry. Ow. That didn't really hurt me at all, actually. For some reason. These guys are giving me a lot of health. I wish we saw these different enemy types in the, uh, Sandy minigame. Why oh, do we have a Sandy minigame where we fight stuff, followed by just fighting things as other characters immediately afterwards? In a normal game. Especially when Sandy just said, hey, leave the fighting things to me. I'll let you guys escape. That's not what happened at all. Also, are we going to left instead of right? I guess we came from the right? It's just kind of non-standard. Okay. Okay, so it's just button mash. Ow. Good job, Patrick. I was curious, vaguely curious for a moment there to see if any other characters had what Sandy did, where if he pressed A during a combo, they'd actually do something different. But Patrick does not, he just kind of tries to push things. I kind of tries pushing like, for a moment though, and then he gets all puzzled. But he gets confused for a long time. Okay, I think we're getting kind of excessive with this. Oh no, we really are. The game's lagging like crazy now. I'm wondering if I should actually at some point use the abilities that cost so many shells. Like, I don't feel like I ever need them. Not especially fun to use. Like, someone feel kind of overpowered, especially throwing Patrick, for example. But at the same time... I'm not using these shells for literally anything else, because I don't think they do anything else. I don't know, this part. Too many enemies at once. Calm down, game. Okay. Three more at a time. Lacking like crazy. Game does not like this. Too much at once. Did you hit each other from out there or something? No. Just jumped up at a convenient time. Okay, more of the same thing again? Probably, that's what it looks like. Game, why do you do this to me? Too many enemies at once. Calm down, please. Hey, flinch. I was not taking any damage from these guys, really. Cyber the fact they do so little damage. There's also I'm getting healed a lot. I don't have to actually put any thought into how I fight these things. Yeah, see, look at that healing. I don't mind being so generous with healing. Like, there are other other earlier parts of the game that are w way harder on you for fighting things that ask a lot more of you. I feel like. Oh, come on, dude. Boxing club guys are kind of formidable. At least in the sense that they can stun you and all that, I guess. But they don't actually do notable damage. Pretty negligible what they do, in fact. Okay, can we go now? Yes, okay, thank you. Jeez. Or another one as always. So that makes sense, sense for things to fight us. Okay, I see. These guys are a little... These guys kind of mean business. Okay, so don't... I guess you don't want to let those lights see you. Or something to that effect. These guys aren't very good at seeing things. Good job. Okay, so the giant guy appears if something sees you. You trip a laser or something. I'm curious if we can trip something and then not get hit, though. No. It hits you no matter what. I'm pretty sure. I can't patch it. Can't drop. Wait, can spell drop trip, trip these things? No, we can't. Okay. Ah! Whatever do you, SpongeBob? I don't need you. That's a fancy footwork. Ah! It does a non- kind of non negligible amount of damage to you, at least. Oh no, laggy things. Too many enemies at once. Whatever, goodbye. 
odd how those guys suddenly actually like sometimes doing something you don't notice you can say that everything else is just immediately aggressive okay i think we fought enough of these guys do we not like, i assume that we have a new bazooka enemy for some reason they just look like pearls or something why did they replace the ice cream in this game with actual explosives and whatnot <laughs> But we just fought a bunch of these things. Not the bazooka guys specifically, but I don't think it. I knew any really justified doing the same thing again. Like, you could have just thrown the, thrown the bazooka enemies in the earlier waves of enemies. Maybe towards the end of the so we actually had different enemies as we progressed throughout the waves. More of them? Yeah, more of them. Gee, game, stop this. You're getting really, really repetitive. How many times do you expect you to just mash? A button. Which are the same enemies. Like, I'm not playing any thought in time fighting these. Just button mashing. The platforming and puzzles in this game are fun, not, and I like the combat overall, but I think they're getting a little excessive with it. Like, there's a point of too much. And the minigames are also kind of questionable. This is getting a little excessive. Not so much because the fine just is bad in general, it's just because it's getting really, really, really too repetitive. You go away. At least having so much health doesn't really help either. Not flinching much. Guys, come on. Again, like excessive. Super, super excessive. It is nice that throwing your friend at some at enemies does. I don't know how much damage it does, but it knocks him over. Seems like it does a decent amount of damage, actually. There's so many enemies at us at a time, too, that's actually lagging the game quite a bit. I don't know if it would be like some actual DS, but emulator at least, but it's hard to keep up, apparently. Are they supposed to be like those like ping pong ball types of things that they were that I think they were shooting in the show? That we also had Sandy shoot at one point. Not that I really know why. Squidward was capable of shooting ping pong bottles, but still, that yeah, might be the idea here. They still look like pearls. Guys, stop it. Why do I have to see more and more of these? I should fight this thing now. Okay, well. I wonder if I had to fight this guy. Nope, invisible walls. Secret weapon! Oh wow. Did I get like invincibility frames from when I throw things? I, I did notice as Sandy that when I throw somebody, as these guys have seen before, that walls can't push me for some reason. I guess I can't get hurt either. Huh. Oh, okay. I was wondering what happened there. It just restarts the room, I would hope. So we need to not get hit by these guys at all. Come with me, SpongeBob. Oh no. Okay. Well, how about this? New idea. Plan B. Take him instead. Nope, that was a bad idea. I guess I was, I was, what I was trying to do there is switch characters once I got hit. So I could keep running, but the problem there was that Spongebob was also adjacent to something that would hurt him anyways. So I just died immediately. So I guess I kind of want to stay close to the camera so I can see as much as possible. Okay, having a bunch of enemies at once is not helping. Stop that. Also doesn't help that I can't see how close... There's no like definite boundary of how close I can get to the camera. So I don't always know if I can sidestep an enemy or not. Can you not? No. Oh. <laughs> it just kind of power pokes you. Not that. Aha! Ah, if I just time it right. Alright. I might be able to, like, get him in a loop or something. Ah, I wasn't able to throw him quickly enough. It's an interesting loop to get stuck in. Alright. 
Try me. Awesome. No, I'm not. Okay. Let's just close that. Close this door. Could you let me, please? Oh, that's a close door behind us here. How's that? Oh, it's that thing! Oh, cool, we're actually going backwards through here. This isn't like a thing I need to carry. It is. Okay. Uh, Patrick, you can take care of that. I get like destroyed. Seemingly not. Okay, so I don't know if I should keep going here or not. I could end up so right here. I kind of want to get out of this place, though. An episode with that. We're, we are at the end. I would imagine, because I think we're near the entrance. Okay. No, I was trying to throw it that way. Oh, great. You might have just had to restart this whole thing. Where'd it go? Okay, here we go. So I need to do. I don't know why SpongeBob didn't follow me, so I need to have SpongeBob follow me for one. I mean, I need to have SpongeBob throw it across this part here. Why SpongeBob? Why'd you do that? So can I not do that then? Okay, so I imagine I need to carry that. Stupid bounces. I'm actually need to carry the thing with me over here, right? So this doesn't do anything. So I don't think it's really doing anything right now, which is strange. I guess that guy's- I can't even attack him, he just knocks me away. So I need to bring the... little orb over there. The question is how I can do that, because SpongeBob threw the thing high for some reason. Instead of far. Patrick also throws it far. Mine throws it high. I'd like to cut that episode once we get out up here. I don't know if that's going to be possible. So Patrick throws far. Oh wait. Okay, so I'm, if I'm standing still, I throw... Okay, so I'm standing still, I throw high. If I'm moving, I throw far. That's not how it normally works at all. Games, like... Lately, the, for some reason, the game has me explaining how it works. I don't know why. It's a very new problem. I need SpongeBob to throw me across here or something? Oh, nope, not quite. Chase. Barely made that. I might need someone to throw me across there, though. Okay. Alright, uh, let's not let ourselves die this way. So how about we... throw Patrick across. Where this guy? Preferably. Moving too slowly. Limited health here to work with. Okay. I was wondering where we were supposed to put the thing, because nothing was obvious about that, but apparently we just need to put inside the laser that's somehow smaller than it is. Well, let's try not to die. I mean, these things do mostly negligible damage, but you've gone hurt a bit. Okay. Alright, so I'll see you guys next time. Next episode of Let's Play Sun Drops Online to Scrapantis, where we, I guess, we're out or something. We're probably at the very end of the game, in fact, but let's. I'm already over time for this episode, so let's just find out next time. See you then, guys. There might be something more to do. Maybe. Or maybe not. Maybe it'll be like five minutes or something. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell right now, actually. Uh, well, hmm. So let's just see right now. Okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, what? So we'll play this next time, then. Alright, I'm gonna get it next time. See you guys!